a couple of days ago, um, I was revisiting some notes I had made on eccentric strength, and um, and I remembered or I rec recalled writing a note about a flywheel and and how that was a way to think about the storage of energy in tissue and and the tolerance of force, and so I looked into it a bit more and. The definition for a flywheel or, or what a flywheel does in mechanical terms is store rotational energy, but the biggest advantage of using a flywheel is that it can send energy back uh, in the opposite direction and, produ and produce more energy than the, the engine is capable of. And I think in a re in a rehab setting, this is a really important concept to aim for with our with our athletes is building a tissue tolerance and strength that's above what they can be exposed to in sport or what they can generate on their own. And if we know they can tolerate these things, so think about drills like landing from jumping and landing from a box or overloaded squats or um, say a speed squat or something where you do repeat movements and the faster that you move the bar the faster it comes back down on you and so you've got to be able to decelerate and that and send that back again and you can do that for any sort of movement whether it's a bench press or chin-ups where you might pull quickly and then let go at the top and have to catch your body weight as it's falling or any of that kind of thing but if the tissue that we're trying to rehabilitate has that ability to tolerate what's happened from the flywheel and which is over and above what it can what you can produce concentrically or or naturally on your own then you in my opinion are less likely to get injured you know if we think about going into a field sport if when you're running and trying to change direction you don't just place your foot and then push to go side to side you put force into the ground because of what are newton's laws about um every action has an equal and opposite reaction so the harder you push into the ground in that that lateral direction to whichever way you're moving the ground is going to send you back in um send at least that amount of force back into you and therefore propel you laterally of your opponent. Um, which is one of the massive things that the guys that I've got at the Warriors, a Sean Johnson or a Roger Tuivasa-Shek, are so good at is they create that separation from the opponent because of how much force they put into the ground. But their tissues have to be able to tolerate that force as well. So when we're coming back from an injury we need to practice that we need to make the make the athlete and the tissue a flywheel so that they can absorb whatever is put into them whether it's from the ground or an opponent in a, making a tackle and then use that energy and reciprocate it into something that's going to help their performance as well such as a sidestep or making a tackle again um so yeah, think of rehab like a flywheel for any engineers out there that might have stumbled across this. Uh, I found it a helpful sort of way to think about things and I know there's some gym equipment out there that sort of works on this premise like the Versa pulley and, and those kind of things. The harder you pull, the harder it pulls back and they can be definitely useful. But even though um, jumping and landing or any of those kind of things aren't... Um, rotational necessarily it's still i think the same concept um from that mechanical term and that's obviously why we have a field like biomechanics because try to apply those physics and mechanical principles to the human body and i think if we spend more time at lower volumes but those high intensities and we know that the tissue we're trying to improve can tolerate those high intensities for a, a large number of efforts but not repeat efforts all the time so that you don't lose um, form and fatigue 
I personally think that's the best way to go about rehabbing an injury is spending that time, spending lots of reps at those high intensities before you worry and safely, as high an intensity as the tissue is ready for at the time, but be before you then worry about um, building the repeat tissue tolerance. I think if you just spend all your time at that low intensity doing repeat efforts there, I don't think the flywheel is going to be able to absorb that big force that then comes in because it can't move at a fast enough rate um, to absorb that force as the description says and more importantly from a performance point of view then send it back in the opposite direction any questions as always hit me up through the email or the social media thanks again and until next time